<laughs> oh, did we he start? Was, yeah, we just started. <laughs> Adam, what did you just say? He was saying something, before, and we started. I wasn't saying anything. <laughs> uh, we're having a nice night here. We got some animal crackers for Stavros. Yeah, I'm St- trying to lose St- weight. St- this cocksucker. Cock sucker- sucker- so we bought him. <laughs> These cocksuckers came in cookie. with M and M cookies, which I fucking love. Animal crackers, which are a little dicked as hell. And a fucking well, these aren't even the, pie, these aren't dude. these are off-brand animal crackers. Oh, they're zoo crackers. They're zoo crackers. <laughs> animal they're crackers. Zoo wafers. <laughs> yeah. Animal crackers rule because you could do the fucking ISIS beheading video with them. That's true. You could also make them fuck. That yeah, cool and you feature. can make them fuck. You could fucking. What do you mean you can kill do the them ISIS and make beheading them fuck. video with them? Well, you know, you, you think can, like, just Muslims behead people? You know, you just eat their heads off. You know, that's fun. Yeah. And what does that like, a What does that have to do with ISIS? B be- be- beheaded <laughs> ISIS beheads and you could behead an animal they, cracker. They, they behead animals. They behead people. They behead people, but you can act like oh, I'm the gingerbread man. That's what you're oh, thinking. Oh, gingerbread man. Yeah, it looks like we found out Adam doesn't know what animal crackers are. <laughs> <laughs> he well, technically, the same I think that all animal that we are we are part of the animal kingdom. An- mm-hmm. Animal cracker is like that's what I call mixed race people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. oh shit! <laughs> I, fuck, dude. I, that is a good one. <laughs> I, I couldn't help myself. All right, delete the episode. <laughs> delete it. Delete. I was the one that said it. Yeah. I'm, just I'm not worried about people coming after me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They already did. That is a good fucking. Um, damn. I'm not Mister. Uh, I've got problems in my DMs. Yeah, well, fuck you, rapist. It's not a nice... <laughs> <laughs> well, Adam, you know, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> don't shoot the messenger. You All know. right. <laughs> I won't. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, yeah, so being... zoo animal crackers. Yeah, I don't appreciate this, man. I'm hungry and I it's don't want It's by Austin, the company that makes uh, those little peanut butter sandwiches. The peanut butter cracker sandwiches. Oh, oh yeah, fuck yeah, those. yeah. The square, fuck those. no, the square the ones with the like cheese. They're like small yeah, that's, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. Bitch. yeah, those are good. But they also yeah. make peanut butter sandwiches. Austin Farms, uh, official sponsor of the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> they called me up. <laughs> It's the same guy that founded the company in 1871. He's still alive. Really? Wow. Yeah. He's like, after I wasn't allowed to keep slaves anymore, <laughs> I wanted to get into peanut butter crackers. And, and so I sold a couple of my remaining slaves illegally to a Spaniard, and I bought this farm where I make snacks for children who don't need to buy their lunch with stamps. <laughs> It's, it's the fancy lunch. <laughs> yeah, excuse me. <laughs> Are these the same food stamps that black people get? <laughs> yeah, I don't want none of them. <laughs> Out of context, that's uh, that one seems kind of problematic. Well, everyone knows Ralph. <laughs> our already old gone. Friend. Yeah. Oh yeah, Ralph's back. Hey, Ralph. what's up, y'all? Yeah, we have I a guest go. today. <laughs> we got Ralph. I should have drank some of this coffee. Ralph before. in the stew. Yeah. Ah. Oh, ah, ah, that's some good Joe. Ah. Our coffee is brought to you today by <laughs> Caribou Coffee. Oh, nice. Caribou, it's like Starbucks, but for, for you know, who Alaskans. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know. Yeah, who is that? <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. I feel like we've already broke the racist seal. Yeah, this has been thing. a pretty racist one up top. Yeah. You know who I'm talking. That's my, <laughs> that's my favorite because it. You make other people do the work. Of course, mm-hmm. you make them be racist. And it's more than like you know, like that Louis C.K. bit. It's like when you say N word, then I have to say the actual N word in my head. Yeah. It's like, oh, no, you don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could just not. I'm you, thinking it. You know what N word? I can hear the N word and just think, oh, the N word. I can't, dude. Really? I'm thinking it a lot right yeah, now. Yeah, you just have a southern man in a colonel uniform shouting. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's 24-7. Yeah. I, can't, I have no relief. <laughs> yeah. Your yeah. brain is just... <laughs> but when you say a couple of you angry. know what's that way, yeah. you know, somebody learns something about themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Their yeah. most deep-seated biases. You know who usually does the learning, right? Oh, oh you know what I'm talking you about. You know what I'm talking about. What? Yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. A couple of, couple of learnies over here. <laughs> yeah, learny Sanders. A couple of le- learned boys. 
<laughs> Damn. <clears throat> Man, so we all went to see Alien Covenant, and uh, it was great. Yeah, I, I loved, loved every it. minute of yeah. it. It was so good. The, probably the best of all of the Jurassic Park movies. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I loved when um, Sandra Bullock comes out. Yeah. And the alien... And you see her tits for a second when the, <laughs> when the bus goes past... <laughs> <laughs> it goes past that cop car. Yeah. If you pause it, you can see Sandra Bernhardt's tits. <laughs> Wait, can you actually see Sandra Bullock's tits in speed? Um, yes. Nice. Yeah. Have you ever seen the porn that's edited into Rescuers Down Under? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's, it's very funny. Because you know how, like, remember all that shit people said were subliminal messages in Disney? Yeah, And of they course. show yeah, it to course. you, and it's just bullshit, you know? Yeah. Well, there's one. The priest in Little Mermaid looks like he has a boner. Yeah, but it's but like... most of them are, yeah. It's yeah. stuff like Aladdin whispering, like, take off your clothes. Yeah, you know, yeah. which it says sex in the clouds. Yeah, sex and in the it's, clouds, the Lion King. Yeah, yeah, but that's it's like barely there. Yeah, rescues down under somebody like just put pornography in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a naked. Wait, in the actual movie, in like, the actual like a movie. frame of porn. A, no, it's not a frame. It's like there's like a mine cart or something. I've never I've seen the whole movie. I've only seen the part with the porn in it. Cool, nice man. And because um, you know what, when I was a little kid. I said, fuck this imagination stuff. I'm jacking off. <laughs> Hell yeah. When would you, you know, first jack off? Uh, six and a half months old. <laughs> as soon as I, I teethed on my own dick. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking did baby yoga. My mom, my mom put me in baby Pilates and I learned how to suck my own dick. You're just gumming your little yeah. cock. <laughs> <laughs> That's why my teeth are so small now as an adult. <laughs> you file it. You still to this day file them off on your dick. Yeah, <laughs> damn. Mm -hmm. You have a very thick cock skin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. Just a lot of calluses. As dude. an infant, they had one of my ribs removed, oh. <laughs> so that I could. I wonder if babies could suck their own dick. I think now that so. I think about it. I think they probably could because they have such weird proportions. They suck their feet easy. Yeah, easy. Yeah. So I'm thinking they could probably get their own cock. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> you know what I mean? That's where I'm, my head's at now. <laughs> You could probably bend a little bit. You could put a baby's cock in his mouth. <laughs> I don't know if he wants it. Can there. you guys self? You guys can't self suck. Can you self suck? You know who can self suck? I got it one time. I did. You it, did? I did it one time. I when got I was it. One time. Really? Yeah. When I was like around that age. Yeah. yeah. What? Thirteen or fourteen. I'm jealous. Thirteen dude. or fourteen. It's easier before you like grow taller. Yeah. It was before the growth spurt. Yeah. yeah. I was maybe like five one at the really? time. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long did you have it in your mouth for? Just a couple seconds. I didn't yeah, come in my mouth. It's weird. It's really <laughs> yeah. weird to have a cock in your mouth. You do it. You do it, and then you're like, "This is gonna be great." And you're like, "Oh, I just have a dick in my mouth." <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it feels really yeah. weird. Yeah. It doesn't feel. It feels way more like you're sucking dick than you're getting your dick sucked. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. And this is gonna sound like a joke, but there was something like oddly familiar about it <laughs> that was triggering for me. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't. I, I don't believe that repressed memories. I wonder. <laughs> God damn, dude! Wow, this shit rules. Nick was just so molested. <laughs> just he was fucking so molested. Held down and raped by a fucking comedian and a and a and a carpenter, and they just all took turns. <laughs> Nick was raped by a clown. Yeah, <laughs> like it just completely makes his his behavior completely <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> Why are you documenting me being raped? <laughs> oh fuck! So yeah, so you you sucked cock as a baby. <laughs> well, my own. Oh, maybe was, it was from teething. I was folded. <laughs> yeah, that's up. what's yeah. familiar about it. I was folded up, <laughs> mm -hmm. it, like with my armadillo-like defense mechanism. <laughs> I curl really into a ball and what suck armadillos my own dick. Can do. Yeah. Incredible! If you see a video of that, mm -hmm. amazing. They just it turned cool. into a basketball it yeah. cool. out of nowhere. It would be cool if you could roll up like that was your power to roll up and start sucking your own dick. <laughs> you're covered in armor. <laughs> <laughs> just a wheel going yeah. through the streets. It's a guy inside <laughs> coming in his own mouth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's why it's the state animal of Texas. <laughs> Texans love self. I thought it was Arkansas. It's, it's there's nothing that that embodies the independent Texas spirit more <laughs> than a man bending over and sucking his own dick in the middle of the desert in defiance of government and God. And make up his own currencies. Oh, uh, fuck. Barber? So, 
Were you now the way you sucked your own cocks? Was it the reverse where you're on your back and you put your yeah you legs, throw your legs you over. throw your legs over you use the weight of your legs to push yeah. your your hips towards your face. Uh, I was never even close, unfortunately. I was limber though, mm-hmm. you know. Well, you weren't able to tie your shoes until three <laughs> months ago. <laughs> Get off your phone, Adam. I I couldn't. I, I have to send those. Thoughts. No, you don't. Get the fuck off your phone. I, I have to. First I of couldn't. all, you're using my wire without permission. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say you could fucking charge your phone with my. That's wire. fucked up, man. You're stealing man's electricity. Yeah, you, I'm gonna charge you for that electricity. By the way. <laughs> Well, that's pretty <laughs> role reversal there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now he knows how it feels. It's so funny. That's the only way they're going to learn. It's so funny. Ovens didn't work. It's time for usury. It's so funny that you guys use the stereotypes on me when I'm bad at money. I'm bad at paying taxes. I'm not that cheap. I waste oh, money on... Are you I waste really, money all for, the time. Is this for us or no, is this for the, it's the, for the audience? It's, for the it's audience. not for the audience at it's all. It's for the audience that comes at you with, with Value City coupons <laughs> in your DMs. <laughs> but I would take some Value City coupons I do, in no, I, do I used like, to love that coupon book. Hell yeah. I As a kid, like, I would dis- look through yes. it and pretend I was going to go to that, like, I'm, I'm going to get Anderson Windows. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> look at all the money I can save on <laughs> on insulation. <laughs> All right, add window salesman to the list of guys who molested Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have Fuck. to sell those for school? How about, how about a remake of Rear Window? And it's like a guy with a broken leg, and he's like looking out the window, and then he sees like a boy being molested across the street. And he just starts jacking. Him. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, yeah. Oh jeez! <laughs> oh, I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, Sav. That little fracket. <laughs> that Sav, your Jimmy Stewart's coming along. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it's about time Not I got a bad. voice. You got it. You got something. <clears throat> it's just seeing everyone do horrible Jimmy Stewarts. Yeah, yeah. That's such I a good to Getting Mike my voice. cock shocked. Mm. It's one of the easiest impressions. Yeah. It's like it's like wow. Walken or, or or Schwarzenegger. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's easy. Yeah, it's there's like, a boy across the street. <laughs> and he's got a dick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez! I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> Have you seen the he rear- calls the guy. The guy comes yeah, over yeah. with the boy. <laughs> hey, would, fuck him. Would you mind fucking him a little harder? <laughs> Have you seen the, uh, the the rear window remake where Shia Shia LaBeouf? No, the one with Christopher Reeves. Oh, like right after his accident, they remade oh, Rear Window. God. No, with, yeah, dude. They Was that re- like him trying to be like? He's like, I can still act. Yeah. And there's one very specific role. Yeah. He can, he, he can play that guy or like whatever the fuck happened to Darth Vader in between like that fire <laughs> pit. <laughs> and then they put him in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> they, made that, they made that Star Wars then. <laughs> Star Wars where they just change his bandages the whole time. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader now. He can't even speak. That's all he is anymore was a voice. Yeah. But they would have to dub over it. But James Earl Jones. Yep, yep. They should do all the Christopher Reeves movies. They should mm-hmm. deliver that rear window. Mm-hmm. Um, so, um, but yeah, it's him and his fucking his like motorized wheelchair, and you know, there's a murder record. We should actually watch it. It's it's like very sad. It's like sad oh, to watch. I don't want to watch it. Yeah, um, let's do it. Guys. Poor guy, dude. Just fucking got got by a horse, dude. Mm-hmm. That shit well, sucks. that's come on. I mean, that's a rich guy. That's a rich guy way to way to get fucked up. Like Sonny Bono, he got skiing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But I mean, what happened? The horse just kicked him off. Yeah, but skiing is like he's playing polo. Well, hold on, skiing. Really? Skiing is like that's, that's just him. This is like Christopher Walken uh, or uh, Christopher Reeves on top of a fucking horse that doesn't want to be jumping over these fences. Uh, the I don't horse think it was show jumping. Up. I think it was polo. Well, whatever. I mean, I, I have less sympathy for... Mm, Nick loves animals. Sounds like a... Wow. I don't love animals. In fact, I hate animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's not true. I would... Ki- I would, I would love them, I bitch. would bind, torture, and kill any animal. <laughs> Except Did, for... Was BTK... BTK any- <laughs> was like the last like serial killer with a cool name. I remember there was like a couple years ago, there was a guy, and I saw it, I think on local news, where there were like... And the police have emerging details about the man they're calling the East Coast Rapist. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you got to put more effort into it. <laughs> the East Coast Rapist? <laughs> the outside pussy fucker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He fucks all his women uh, outside. <laughs> uh, and uh, new details emerging about the guy that fucks children. <laughs> 
a serial rapist known as the man who comes inside children. <laughs> oh, fuck. <clears throat> um, fuck. What, oh, oh. So he was playing polo? That shit sucks, dude. Polo sucks. Was Christopher Reeve a good actor? All I remember was Superman. Superman. That's all I know him from. Was he ever good at shit? I don't know. He was also in Smallville as another handicapped guy. <laughs> <laughs> Smallville, hell yeah, dude. La- Lana Lang or whatever. Not not, not Lois Lane. Hi, Clark Kent. Are you from Smallville because you got a small dick? <laughs> and then he like beats that guy up. Yeah, I really want to play fast. the bully on that show. Rips his cock out. <clears throat> I want to be she was pretty man. hot, that girl that played Lana Lang. Dude, hell yeah. What was yeah. up with her? She was like yeah. half Asian. Kind of Chinese. Yeah. Yeah, the good kind. Feeling kind of Chinese. <laughs> That's my jazz album. <laughs> <laughs> Where I only play the black keys on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> That's the trick. If you want to play any Chinese song, just play the black keys ding, on the keyboard. Bang, ding. I could do that one song ding. where you just play with your knuckles. On the black dun, 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 dun. That song. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Is that called Chopsticks? No, Chopsticks no. is a different song. Chopsticks is... <laughs> it feels like it should be... It feels like that one should be called Chopsticks, you know? Yeah. Why are we confusing us? Yeah, what is that song? And why did it become synonymous with any time a movie scene transitions to Asia? Yeah. Yeah. Because of great-ass sketch comedy. <laughs> the gong sound. Oh... Well, um, so you guys only now. I we I think we abandoned the sucking your own dick conversation a little too early. You only did it once. Yeah, I did it once, and I just got really like the, just the tip. Really, I nice. didn't. I couldn't. I couldn't go all the way. But um, did you finish beating off after you sucked your own cock, or would you like? I have to. I need a second. Yeah, like Nick said, it it felt less pleasurable on the dick than it felt like I was sucking a dick. <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, would you suck a dick? Uh, no, I mean, I don't plan on it. <laughs> Come on. But you know that whole, like, conversation, Why like... Why not? Dude. We've Have we talked about, like, you know, like, when guys are like... Yeah, 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 a million dollars. For a million dollars, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Nick showed me a picture of that lady with a giant ass on it, like, the medically <laughs> giant ass. Why does she have an ass that big? Shut up, dude. This doesn't concern you. <laughs> This is about this is a real men's this conversation. Is, yeah, this is Puerto Rican rattle, <laughs> alpha rattle snakes only. Yeah, it is funny that it is like incredibly attractive. What big asses? No, that this this woman's disability. This woman's yeah, like yeah. crippling. She's gonna be in a wheelchair by the time she's fucking thirty. What does she have? Um, How do you find pants for that? Uh, very carefully. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. You guys know? Yeah, I got you. So, yeah, just for the listener at home, there's this Instagram lady that Nick's a fan of whose ass is, because of some sort of medical malady, <laughs> the, big, <laughs> the biggest ass of all time. Yeah, yeah dude. And she's, she's kind of... a 70-inch ass. And from the waist up, she's pretty hot. Yeah. yeah. Um, but, yeah, she has a cartoonishly large uh, I'm going to say something that's too big. <laughs> oh, I my mean, God. I can't... I, I just... It's... Ugh. How could your Does she have a tattoo on there? there? Is that a tattoo? Adam's not into it. Adam's into uh, into women that. Oh, it looks like she's just laying a sack of dough down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Sorry, I know this piece is of dough. this is kind of too visual for the audience. But yeah, uh, but we're just gonna keep looking at pictures. Yeah, I'm just gonna uh, once once you get sucked in, I try to get out and I, I get sucked right back in to the world ass. of yeah. Instagram pogs. You know the pogs, right? Oh, yeah. Fat-ass white girl, dude. Yeah. Mm-hmm. One of the best cat porno categories. Absolutely. I love it so Hands much. Hands down. Yeah, <laughs> pog, baby. P-A-W-G-S. Wait. Yeah. Adam pogs? doesn't know about it. Yeah. Don't know. I know about BBWs. No. no. Don't tell him. He's not What's included the in this You've never beat off the pogs, have you? Like, girls with big asses? No. Fat-ass like, white girls, pogs. man. Pogs. It's a whole other category. Wait, are they fucking black guys in it? No. no. Racist? You come on, dude. So why are they identified as fat ass white What part guys? of it's hot didn't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Louis. I mean, look, sometimes, yes, they will fuck black guys. Mm-hmm. I would say it's 50-50. Most of the time, there's no fucking. It's not hardcore. It's mostly softcore. But it's like twerking videos by like... Oh, no, I see. I, I mean, they do have fuck yeah. videos, but like the Pog stars are like... Right, Camp, you're right. Yeah, they right. do like twerking. They get popular doing twerking videos, and uh, you know a lot of them have um, 
medical disabilities like this woman <laughs> here. That is what a, is it called that makes your ass that big? Diabetes. Um, what is the name of it? Yeah, it's it, well, it's a, it's a combination of like some some people just have huge. Uh, ass. Yeah, some some women just deposit more fat in their ass mm-hmm. for starters, mm-hmm. and then on top of that, she does have like some kind of lymph build up it looks like <laughs> <laughs> you're just fucking tumor like tumorous <laughs> tissue like yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah. <laughs> she's, she's got cancer <laughs> she's got the biggest, she's got what two perfectly round what disease ass <laughs> fucking tumors what do you think <laughs> what do you think weighs more her oh ass my God. or me um her ass for sure ass. You think her ass weighs more than yeah, probably. 140 pounds? Oh, yeah. this woman probably weighs like 240 pounds. Nice. And do you think she weighs 140 in the ass? That. Yes, mm-hmm. 141 to be exact. Adam, you weigh what, like 92 pounds? <laughs> <laughs> you really weigh a whole 140? That's too much, dude. You think I weigh less? Yeah, you got down. fat, dude. What the fuck happened? You're it's 140 ugly. pounds now? You're ugly, dude. <laughs> you let yourself go. You gotta get thin. I mm-hmm. lied on my driver's license up on weight. That's What'd you hilarious. put? 150? I put 140. I was not 140 at the time. You lied to 140? I lied up. I legitimately don't know the last <laughs> to time. To feel I like weighed. more of a man. I don't remember when I weighed 140 pounds. <laughs> like, I think it might have been third grade. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> really? I've been, f- dude, yeah. I weigh 260 yeah. right now. Dude, was- I've gone through periods where I drink like. Two shakes, like muscle milks, like a day, go to the gym every single day, and the highest I've ever gotten is 145. Really? Yeah, but that's because you're eating a bunch bunch of what? You said, uh, oh, I drink two protein shakes a day and all this bullshit supplements. Yeah, and Chipotle burrito for lunch every day. That's That's still only only like 3,000 calories. I mean, all I'm saying is I can't put weight on... Just from eating, I could put it on from weight training. We should, but try. the most I've ever gotten to is 145. We should see that's most that's just water retention, then probably. We should see if you can gain weight faster than I can lose it. Yeah, it's impossible. I, I can make you gain weight. How uh, we I will try. put you on a diet, I guarantee you. And I know this is Lewis's thing, but Lewis has moved on to fidget spinners now, <laughs> <laughs> which at first I thought was a joke, but that seems to be 100% sincere. <laughs> Is Lewis is, <laughs> yeah, Lewis has lost a lot of weight too. He looks I was good. gone for three months and he got he AIDS good. and autism in a fucking yeah. When we did his podcast, span. I told him he's looking good. Yeah, the fidget spinner is tough though. Uh, what <laughs> is he doing? What what is what do you mean? He's he like brings it on tricks. stage. He's posting like tricks of him doing like fidget spinner stuff, which is like it's which, it's couched in a little bit of like a tongue in cheek sort of thing, but. You know that means that he's been like into these things for months. He's practicing. He's practicing them. He's got a whole collection of them. He like flips them from hand to hand and shit. He like yeah. won't let his son play with them because yeah. he's practicing his tricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's yeah. It's my like, dad did that with Super Nintendo. He got really into Super Mario World. And he was just, <laughs> he's like, I'd be like, Yo, can I play? He's like, Just let me die one more time. I was like, Are you fucking for real? That sounds really cool, man. Yeah, your dad sounds cool. Grown ass man taking a little boy's game. Yeah. My dad Adam, was, you're not allowed to play anymore. My dad He's like, was, stay up at night trying to be Mario. My dad was out. Go crying. back to your room for being gay. <laughs> Eat him. You're gay. You're gay now, Adam. <laughs> I'm Mario Until and you're gay ass Luigi. You're gay. <laughs> you can play as Luigi because you're gay. <laughs> Luigi's not gay. Dude. Luigi's Luigi gay. fucks. Luigi fucks. Dude, Luigi can like jump a, higher. You got like a Luigi wall Luigi, Luigi vibe. A Waluigi? Yeah, you're, Waluigi. you're Waluigi. He's Wario. Absolutely, I'm Wario. I have no mu- I, I I don't have a mustache though. Get one. I don't have yeah, one. Yeah, you either. can't grow one. I yeah, can't really grow one. I have one either. <clears throat> but it's about spiritually. I'm definitely Waluigi. Stop with a mustache. Looks really funny. I'm fucking double dragon, dude. I'm both of them. No, you're the toads. You're battle no, toads. I'm not, you're dude. the gay ass little I'm frogs. First of all, battle toads are not gay. You're the shark ones. What were those? Street sharks. Street, street sharks shark was I'll a video game. Street sharks, street sharks is cool. too cool. You're not street sharks. I am street sharks. <laughs> no, fuck you. Shut up, you fucking you're Wario the bitch. No. <laughs> I'm TMNT, dude. No, no I'm you're not, dude. Mike, you're fucking Mikey, Waluigi. Dude. We already moved on from you. I'm Mikey. I'm a party animal, and um, I like. I'm a wisecracker. I like pizza, and I I use nunchucks. That's I'm Raphael then. Raphael, because you got a bad attitude. I'm bad. I'm bad, dude. I'm I'm Casey. 
Who's the oh the friend? The friend who fucks April? Yeah, the friend who fucks. Damn, April. that's the best one. That's right. Fuck. You're definitely not double dragging into a street sharks. <laughs> <laughs> What's a gay video game? <laughs> you're that. You're yeah, you're, dude. You're Doctor uh, Mario. You remember how much Doctor Mario sucked? Dude, fuck Doctor Mario. <laughs> Dr. Mario what sucked, was dude. that game? I even. don't know. I was so excited. I, th- I tried playing it one time, and I th- it was like, I think this is trying to make me learn. Yeah, it felt that way. I don't know what, what like, was. It was, was like just boring, and it's fucking like it's vaguely educational. It was like a much more little dicked version of Candy Crush. Is what it yeah. felt like. Like it felt like one of those puzzle games. I honestly have never understood. It and I, never I had will. I had Mario Paint, which is like you got a mouse for it. Oh yeah, and you I can had like too. you could compose that songs on it, and you could like make drawings and stuff. But the thing that was shitty was like you couldn't keep the draw. There was no like yeah. way of printing them out or anything like that. Yeah, that's true. on the Wii. Uh, it gave you like there was a painting thing on the Wii, mm-hmm. and when you beat a game, it would like give you a picture of the game mm-hmm. or whatever. And I got really good at drawing dicks, like very like <laughs> photorealistic dicks. <laughs> In that, because a lot of people don't know that I am actually a. You're not a bad artist. I'm not bad. Cartoonist, art, yeah. Okay, art teacher also <laughs> fucked him when he was a baby. <laughs> dude, you just got fucking gay. The list bang. is yeah. good, dude. Yeah, <laughs> just a bunch of guys waiting. No, but I had one where I had I had this like massive hog on Luigi where he's giving like a thumbs up. <laughs> Did uh, you save it? I did. I, yeah, I did, but I mean, it was on a Wii that I, right, you know, right. got Fuck. sold or fucking. I want to see that. Dude, the Wii sucks. It didn't it. even have HD, right? Well, no, the Wii is good because you can like pirate games real easy. Yeah. You can play all the Super NES games. No, but you can play. Like you can play card. all the Wii games. You can play yeah, like, yeah, all yeah. the Wii and GameCube games. It all like it just. Yeah. It's like exploits where you put it on an SD card. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You just put you put this thing. You I'm go to get one. Yeah. If you like, just I have how to soft mod a Wii. You, you just put an SD card in it, and then it'll... Like, it does something. I want to play fucking Gundam Robo. You guys ever fuck with that shit? I've I'm been not. playing Metroid Prime good. because we have... Metroid Prime's a great game. Dude, it's too hard. I'm not <laughs> I'm not good enough at video Samus games. Samus is sexy, dude. Yeah, I know. Samus could get the, the dick piece. Wait, do you have the GameCube controller? I have... No, I have the... Oh, because it have, was a GameCube game. Yeah, no, actually, yes. I have a GameCube controller. That was probably, like, one of... Five good GameCube games. It was a yeah, it was a really good game. Um, yeah, I have the GameCube. It like attaches to the remote, the Wii remote. Yeah. Oh the the con, the, the yeah the, like the like one the that looks white like an con- SNES controller. Yeah yeah, yeah 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 yeah. Fuck yeah, that game was good as shit, dude. No, what's the? I can't remember the fucking no. It was Custom Robo, I think that I played. That shit was cool. You built your own robot and you fucking fought other robots and shit. No, I don't know that. Yeah, blasters and shit. I think that's what it was called. Fuck, it was good as hell, dude. I tried to buy it again. It's like off the internet. It's like eighty dollars for the fucking disc. Yeah, because your boy got a GameCube at home. Oh, do you? Yeah. Shit, we should play GameCube. Should play GameCube. Come over. Well, Amber has a Wii. I want to now. Like I was saying, let's that, play Smash, at, dude. I, she doesn't have any of the wires Smash. for it. Oh, I don't know. But there's just a Wii with none it's of the just wires. There. Should we yeah. steal it? Well, I could hook that shit up once once my console comes and I can have a shelf shelving for all Hell my yeah, electronics. Dude. My man out here, Nicky Mullen, out here getting shelves and shit. Yeah, I and, love and, shelves and, and subwoofers. Yeah, I did subwoofer. I bought a shoe rack today. Did you? A shoe rack and some fucking uh, uh, some wrinkle spray. <laughs> you ever fuck with that? You ain't ever got to do fucking ironing. Oh yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. You stretch, you spray and stretch. Yes, yeah, bitch. That that's really like cool. what I do to your ass. You spray and then stretch. No, it's the other stretch way around. And stretch spit. and then spray. Stretch and spit. Spit. Stretch. Spray. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is there another Star Wars movie coming out soon? Yes. In, de- in there's December. eight. Uh, Rogue One was so good. You liked it? I thought it was great. I liked it. I but thought I it was cool. Good. I thought it was so much better than Force Awakens. It was much well, better no, than Force Awakens. One, Force Awakens sucked my dick. It's the follow-up to Force Awakens is coming I out. I thought the end of... Yeah, that's, that's a good one, dude. I, again, <laughs> we're, we're watching those Instagram models. <laughs> uh, the end was cool as shit, where they all suck each other's cocks. No, I didn't want to spoil it. I hate spoilers. Even though, even though we're well in our whatever to spoil, it's been a year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they got the new one coming out with Luke Skywalker, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he's just been standing on that island. Beating off. Jedi, Jedi don't, can't beat off. They do, Hands free. That sucks. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, well, they just Jedi can hands, <laughs> They disappear they when hands they come. come. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's dude, like, you know how... That, suck me off, and I will become more powerful than you've ever imagined. <laughs> <laughs> it's like how Darth... Luke, Luke is just watching as Darth Vader fucking sucks him off across, 
across that across hallway. the room. It's like Ben, <laughs> Ben, and he just the robe collapses. <laughs> just, yeah. A little mouth, the, a little glory hole appears yeah, yeah. on his mask. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It just opens up. <laughs> He's so good at sucking dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, he just He's uses, like super head. He uses the Sith choke to jack guys off. Yeah, that's yeah. a good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah. You fucked my father. <laughs> I am your father, and I'm gay. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And he uses the lightsaber to cut Luke Skywalker's dick off. <laughs> he's hanging by his, cock, his hard cock. <laughs> no, he's hanging by his hand, but he still he reaches down and cuts his dick off with the lightsaber. No! no! Oh, yeah. And then the next movie starts with him getting his like Ro- dick made, remade awesome by a robot. robot, by dick. robot. Yeah. yeah. That's cool, dude. Oh, dude, I want a robot dick. Cool. If you could have one robot part of your body, what would it be? It's just dick is Jack's R2-D2. arms. Jack's arms. That's good. Yeah. <sighs> oh, ro- one robot. One part. robot part. But he has. He picked two. Yeah, well, uh, you're right. But it's like one piece. Shut no. the fuck up. You connect connect two. It connects. You said arms. That's you did, plural. That's plural. Why, why are you so fucking bad at all of these <laughs> hypotheticals? <laughs> Every single fucking time. <laughs> all right. Ask me again. No, you already blew it. No, <laughs> All right, ask me again. Fun ask anymore. me again, dude. Please, yeah. Nick. What would you like? Um, a laser eye. Ooh, fuck yes. That'd be cool. Yes, dude. Ask me. <laughs> ask me again. I would probably legitimately do Robocock. Ask me again. You know what? No, I want one foot to be like bionic, so I can jump high as shit and dunk. <laughs> that'd be pretty cool yeah, and then you land on the other foot and it breaks it just shatters <laughs> just immediately your <laughs> shin bone goes up to your chin <laughs> uh, well so ask that's the again. end of that hypothetical ask yeah. me again what else do you guys want to talk about yeah ask me again you're so bad at these dude um, just one more time we're like, we're like okay let's all name our favorite movie and Adam's like all of the Cassavetes movies <laughs> I've only seen like two. <laughs> yeah, but you don't understand how favorite works. <laughs> All right. That's the problem. If I could have one robot body part, yeah. mm-hmm. two laser eyes. You motherfucker. <laughs> you fucking cocksucker. <laughs> sorry, dude. Dude, what the fuck? I'm sorry, man? boys. I'm sorry, boys. Take, I'm sorry, boys. Take a breather, dude. You're on timeout. All right, I'll take two minutes off. The take how about, minutes off. I, I bet Adams would be like a robot prostate that can eliminate the HIV virus entering his body. <laughs> At the, at the gates, <laughs> yeah. it's a little sieve yeah, 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 that gets yeah. out all the it's HIV little, out of the cup. Little droid prostate <laughs> that sits in his ass, and it's like, what's going on here? You're not cleared for entry. <laughs> it's like a little gold prospector, yeah. <laughs> but it's <AIDS>. <laughs> <laughs> Am I still on timeout? <laughs> yeah, Adam just gets fucked in his ass. Two minutes, and two then minutes. you just hear like, boop, 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 and then he's like, R two. <laughs> <laughs> R two, come on! Is R two D two prostate? <laughs> How long is two minutes? You still got like ninety more seconds. Okay. Yeah, he's got, he's got. It's like projecting holograms of Princess Leia out of his <laughs> asshole. You have to help us, Obi Wan Kenobi. There's too much AIDS in this boy's ass. <laughs> oh boy! <clears throat> so, what's today? Memorial Day. Yeah, this is Memorial Day, and we need to represent. And shout out to the troops. Shout, shout out. out to me. I am a uh, Navy SEAL. Really? Yep. I'm thinking about joining current, the Marines. Current you think Navy I should join SEAL. the Marines? I think you should join the Navy SEALs like me. SEAL Team 6. SEAL Team 6. I'm actually, I was Delta Force first, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. then I switched to SEAL Team SEAL 6. Team. Delta Force is Army? Uh, Yeah. And then SEAL Team 6 is nice. Navy? Yeah, that's yeah. the Navy's guys. The Navy's big dick that's gentlemen. Cool. I would probably be um, uh, Israeli army. <laughs> uh, the um, ha- the Hadesset? The Why? Krav Maga. Why would you be the Israeli army? I said it as a joke. Oh, because you like, you like to oppress Palestinians? No, I don't. Is that the reason? Did you, have you talked on the podcast about the time that you um, like threw rocks back at those Palestinian <laughs> boys while you were in Israel? Right after you did that trip to D.C. to yeah. lobby for Israel, yeah. you then went over to over to Israel. 
No, I'm I'm polished up some nice rocks. I'm anti-Israel. I'm more into being a social justice warrior these You're days. You remember w. remember that story you told about <laughs> when you serviced yourself on a tri- an entire transporter crate filled with Palestinian boys? <laughs> I think that was off mic. Yeah. I don't oh, think... I think that's when we were getting lunch. Mm-hmm. He mentioned that. <laughs> that was the plot of Transporter, right? There was like one of those yeah. big cargo... I was like... that. It's like Captain Phillips, right? But yeah, the yeah. pirate is Adam. And he's like, tell me these are filled with Asian women. <laughs> <laughs> he, takes over, he takes over the boat. <laughs> Captain... <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Phillips is like, what's going on here? <laughs> oh, I'm Sully. <laughs> it's me, Captain Sully. Uh, yeah. Good times. <clears throat> Good times, man. Good I times, noodle salad. What's that from? It's a line from As Good As It Gets. Ah, where yeah, the old people that. fuck. Good times, noodle salad. Yeah, that's wait. Is that Jack Nicholson fucking Amanda Peet? Is that right? Uh, no, it's uh, Jack Nicholson fucking Helen Hunt. Helen Hunt. There's another one called Something's Got to Give. That's the he, one I'm thinking of. Yeah, where he fucks uh, Diane Keaton. Diane Keaton, but first he fucks her daughter, right? I, that's something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah. easy to confuse those two movies, and only one of them is good. And, and the is good it the one, one with Helen Hunt? No. Yeah. Yes. Fucking as yeah, good yeah, as it gets. As good as it gets. Is yeah. there a gay guy? That was like nominated for Oscars. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Cuba Gooding is gay in that. What is he? What's no, that's that, him what's him that line? Snow dog. He goes. He goes. Uh, Carol the waitress meets Simon the fag. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I like to interpret that character as cool. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He's a cool yeah, guy. He's fucking. I old. agree with all of his opinions <laughs> and his attitude. Fucking. Is young. he done acting? Yeah, he's, he's got, got like Alzheimer's. Dude. He got Alzheimer's. My man's brain is fucking potato. Who, Jack? Yeah, yeah. His shit's full of Swiss cheese. <laughs> I hope he didn't forget how to fuck, dude. Nah, some things are in the there. His his fucking cortex. It's right in the spine. Oh yeah, the, st- the brain. Stem. It's the last part to go. The last part to go. Uh, he'll be. You know how dogs sometimes run in their sleep. He'll be eating yeah. pussy in his sleep. He still goes to I Laker games. He Does was at he? the last Kobe game. I mean, I guess that was a year ago. That was a year ago. Have you seen him this year? Probably not. No, he looks the bad. Team, well, the team sucks, dick. The Lakers suck. They're building. And Lonzo's going to suck dick, too. They're building towards the future. Um, got that fucked up shot. He looks like ugly ass Drake. Janky. It's a little janky. He Lonzo looks like, looks like Drake. Drake with Down syndrome. Uh, what do you think about the Lonzo LeVar Ball type uh, thing? They both sound like fags to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't go to the games anymore. There's too many queers playing. <laughs> don't you remember the old days when they. <laughs> used to wear very tiny shorts and sometimes you'd get a peek at somebody's <laughs> pecker. <laughs> Those were the days, Jack. The good old days, Jack. That's the facts, Jack. <clears throat> yeah. That man fucked the who do you think fucked the most? Apparently he fucked so much that he like in his late in life he was a pretty lonely guy. Because mm-hmm. his only friend, I think, was Harry Dean Stanton. And he fucked mm-hmm. his wife. And, he then, fu- and, he, and then he fucked Harry Dean Stanton. <laughs> yeah. And then he fucked him. Harry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Can't you give me a second chance? <laughs> What's that line in Departed where they, it's like... Um, where he goes, hoo-ah. No. <laughs> <laughs> hoo-ah. <laughs> hoo-ah. Hoo-ah, Charlie. The scent of a woman. What are you talking about? My upper lip? <laughs> I've smelled every type of bitch there is. <laughs> you know what? I don't think that kind of that kind of guy says bitch. I think he calls women broads. Like, broads. Yes, yes, dames. yes, dames. Absolutely. He calls She's them, a beautiful woman. He cuts <laughs> to the chase and just calls women holes. Whole. Yeah, yeah, that is a very vulgar. <laughs> that one feels Look so much holes. worse than like cunt or any of them. No, honestly. yeah, I think cunt the is a lot more. Polite. You know, I, that was my favorite Shia LaBeouf movie before I saw it. <laughs> what a letdown! <laughs> it's Shia LaBeouf gaping. <laughs> they should call it false advertising. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that's oh, good. That's good. That's some good shit, baby. Shia really, you know, he had, he had a nice... He, he could have had it all, dude. I call him Vagina LaBeouf. 
<laughs> Why were the alt right guys so obsessed with that thing that alt uh, that that Shia was it, doing that installation thing? Because it's funny to fuck with Shia LaBeouf. But why in particular were like the pep the alt right guys? Because really it's into like it? a 4chan thing to fuck with Shia LaBeouf. Oh, yeah. they fuck with them. So a lot? it kind of like beautifully meshed their political beliefs and one of their favorite trolls. Because he's a, yeah, he's an easy target and he's like. Obviously full of shit. Yeah, completely. His, yeah, which is surprise. It's what's interesting about him is like he, it's it, his behavior seems like it's driven by like some sort of insecurity about having been like a Disney star or whatever. He's mm-hmm. got a fucking chip on his shoulder right. of about how he was interpreted throughout his adolescence. Mm-hmm. And I mean, like we talked about it, but that first details magazine where he was like striking out into adulthood, trying to be this like Hollywood, mm-hmm. you know, fucking yeah. James Dean. It was always weird. Those years yeah. are weird as shit. And the harder you try to be cool, the more of a fucking laughing stock you are. But, like, and now it's this all this weird fucking, you know, uh, shown uh, his art stuff movies. that that, re- that really happened after he was caught plagiarizing from that graphic novel or whatever it was. For right, right. Um, but I feel like Franco's sort of on that wave, too, but people no, don't Franco's fuck. No, Franco's fine. People don't fuck with no, him. He's, again, he's like a guy that... Like has some of the same impulses. Well, he thinks of himself his, as a conceptual to, artist. Yeah, right. He, well, he thinks of himself as like smarter than he is, which is fine when you're yeah. like a fucking millionaire. I mean, it, but and like the extent of that is him like taking classes at Columbia and writing shitty book reports mm-hmm. advice. Like, <laughs> Shia's behavior is like there's something. It's like Kanye, where it's yeah, like, yeah, there's yeah. something that's like kind of off. And right. mm-hmm. if this was somebody you cared about, you would like try to get them help. Yeah, and uh, but what's interesting is that he does all this bullshit performance art, but he's like, like a very talented actor. He's a good actor. I yeah. think he's good. He's, yeah, he's a really good actor. Did you see Nymphomaniac? No, he wasn't bad. Eagle well, Eye. Yeah, even in movies <laughs> that go. suck, he's he's good. He's not bad. Yeah, yeah. Like what made Indiana hits, Jones bad was not him. No, right. it's just he a hits terrible his marks. Movie. I yeah. fuck with him. I do. Yeah. Didn't he do that art thing where he, no, no, he wasn't gonna move and some girl sucked his dick or something? Yeah, he got raped. <laughs> Shit's wild, dude. Yeah, he did another thing where he watched. I all- heard that. I laughed myself <laughs> to sleep. I felt raped when I saw that movie that had no holes in it. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> Jack, great to have Jack, you. Jack, what's the best muff you've ever smelled? Oh, boy. <laughs> Your mom. <laughs> what the fuck, Jack? Jack. Uh, see ya, Jack. Bye, Jack. <laughs> um, oh, my! I think my downstairs neighbors, um, or my downstairs neighbor had a f- like a gay dude. He was screaming at his boyfriend. And I think they fought each other, like fist fought. That's nice. like, is that? I'm always down with some DV when it's when it's same sex. Exactly. Is that right. allowed? Like, are you allowed like, to cheer for that? I feel fight? like, uh, yeah, it's not like you're beating a woman. Wait, hold yeah. on. Are they the same race? <laughs> yes. Okay. Is one of them deaf? Nope. Disabled in any way? <laughs> nope. Fair game. Fair game. <laughs> That's cool, right? Because looking at fights is fun. I I can't imagine. There was a thrill when I heard mm-hmm. that. Because first of all, that guy. It sucks. makes me think. Like, it, how about is there like, more we do this, domestic like, violence in the gay community? Let's shut up. Let's do like a very progressive Thanks. thing where we like <laughs> we host fights where we make gay people fight for us. I and, like, like it. We, we we put them in a cage and make them beat the shit mm-hmm. out no, of each sort other. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of like to a, prove that it's okay. I love. Sort yeah, of yeah. like a, a gay kumite. <laughs> yeah. That would literally be Lewis idea of like a <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. of being tolerant <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude you fucking make them fight to the death no, no all the money goes to AIDS research <laughs> I think you're allowed to you're allowed to fight if it's the bottom fighting the top no no it's weight classes dude they gotta be in the similar weight class it has to be weight class yeah it can't yeah. be one guy that's way bigger than and the look other. if one is real like tiny and like does you know what i mean like it you know if one is clearly like outmatched it's not as cool but these guys are about the same size dude like i think that's just a fair game awesome fight Mm -hmm. because like usually (laughs) they're probably in shape fist fights they don't yeah they're in great shape and usually when people throw like fist even ufc guys there's not that much passion you you very rarely see sexual passion well i don't know in the form of of fisticuffs I think yet there's another yet another reason for uh, gay UFC. <laughs> gay UFC, dude. The more I hear about it, the more this becomes a great idea. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> the 
We gotta get Lewis on Comtown. <laughs> Lewis yeah, with, we do. with ten fidget spingers. <laughs> <around your> spinger. <laughs> Who's ready to rumble? <laughs> <laughs> we got ten gay dudes. The winner gets a fidget spinner. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it you, Nick, that was saying that there are fidget spinners for executives? And <laughs> oh no, yeah. Somebody the heads of state. Somebody tweeted it. Yeah, somebody tweeted this Reddit. This red. Oh, fuck. I don't. Wanna, I, I, I would like to give credit to whoever fucking found it. I wish I could remember who found it. <laughs> Maybe it was CJ or something. But it was like, uh, let us know. We'll give you retroactive. No, credit. wait. It was at Tiny Baby. Oh yeah, yeah. I think. I mean, he usually has pretty good. That guy's good. Pretty, uh, pretty good Reddit polls. But it was. Um, yeah, it was like the the top post was uh so we all have autism question mark exclamation point and then somebody responded like I'm tired of this attitude. There are some fidget spinners that cost more than three hundred dollars that are designed for executives and presidents. <laughs> it's like would you call somebody autistic for driving a Mercedes Benz? <laughs> for executives. First of all, that's literally the only president yeah. would be our yeah, president. It like, that's it. Wow, There's look not- at that executive with his three hundred Fifty dollar fidget spinner and his four hundred dollar Mercedes Benz. I wonder if that man's going to be president someday. Potentially, we have to get yeah. the, the most expensive fidget spinners now. Yeah, it's also like sometimes CEOs have autism. Yeah, yeah. It's like, would you call a guy with a Mercedes Benz autistic? Like, yeah, if he was autistic, yeah, yeah. if he was driving around the Mercedes Benz playing with a fidget spinner, yeah. then yes, I would call him that. In fact, I would make a point to just fuck him for having that car. Absolutely. They don't deserve that those kind of riches. Yeah, they don't. They don't have the brain developed enough to enjoy <laughs> them. The thing is, they got a, a mentally retarded brain. <laughs> it's something I learned they about They don't them. taste sweets. You know what I mean? You can't... All, everything's sour to them. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, you know, when they hear a song and they don't like, they get itchy and that bothers them. You can see their behavior? There's one of them who rides a bus around town for free. It gives me the willies. They say he's real good at math, but who the fuck likes math? See, I don't believe that shit either. I don't think they know math. Yeah. They like to pretend, you know, they know they got to tap into your brain. They a different wavelength. Basically, my theory is, you know, the doctor says to you... Your son's going to have, you know, autism or whatever. Mm-hmm. It's one simple solution. You take a power drill, put it into the top of the skull, mm-hmm. fill the hole with acid. Yeah. <laughs> LSD? No, with with chemicals. Oh, like, like chloric acid. Oh, kill him. You steal him from the... Yeah, kill him. Yeah, well, painfully. Yeah. That way you make sure the next no, kid you have no. fucking knows better. <laughs> you drill it, you give his r- brain room to expand. Because it's too fucking yeah, small. Yeah, you're trapping him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think they He's get got it. that little retard brain. <laughs> uh, yeah. You put a couple chicken livers on top of his brain and it fucking fuses. <clears throat> to get liver in his brain? Yeah, meat. He's meat is brain. brain. What do you think brain is? <laughs> You think brain is fucking muscles? <laughs> it is. <laughs> no, it's fucking meat. It's the most powerful muscle. I got a fucking muscle for you, pal. What? This fucking salich. What's a salich? Oh, my God. Salich? What is a salich? <laughs> what is a salich? My fucking... A bazon. <laughs> <laughs> the Italian my guy... My fucking big The Italian guy that doesn't even know the made-up Italian <laughs> words that other Italian-Americans came up with. I fucking... My, my fucking... <laughs> this is <a> each. Hey. <laughs> like, hey... I'm what, don't you mean another thing we made up that doesn't... Isn't actually I'm Italian? Brajol. <laughs> <laughs> brajol is one. I'm like brajol. Oh man, that's good. Oh, that's a good guy. Man, I fucking wish we had actually seen Alien Covenant. Yeah, Kenny you know, Powers is in it. He was fucked up. I like, feel like it's gonna suck. Though. I heard Stop. it's bad. Shut the fuck up. It's good. And don't ruin it for me. I heard guys. Kenny Powers Everyone is the only good bad. part. No, that, there's, that can't be true, dude. That's what I was told Kenny by someone Powers that saw it. A, out, out there trying to look fucking serious. I'm trying to he- hear him talk about titties, dude. He that's killed me. an alien and said, "You're fucking out." <laughs> Um, yeah, you know what sucks is like I stopped stealing movies, mm. and I just I actually rent movies now. Yeah, because mm-hmm. you're in the media now. Well, it's insane that I would actually do that. You know, mm-hmm. a couple of years ago, it's like who would buy movies? Yeah, that's wild. But now new shit comes out, and like I don't want to watch it because it's going to look like shit. Mm-hmm. You get used to the higher 
quality mm-hmm. of movie. Yeah, you're spoiled. Yeah, you I'll know. only I'll only re- download something if it's like a Blu-ray or a 720 at least. Yeah. I do laser disc. You do. I'm I want to get well. You know, laser disc. You say that jokingly, but laser disc is an analog signal. So yeah, it's the good shit. Yeah, they, it's, it's like it's, a record. Yeah, well, they continued making laser discs in Japan until like five years also ago. Also, a laser disc sale, a laser disc <laughs> salesman rapes Nick. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. It's higher. It's higher fidelity. <laughs> People like laser discs. What was on laser disc? Everything. Yeah, it was like movies and shit. Oh, just everything. It was a bad format. Well, it, had a big ass CD. Yeah, it was a bad format because it was enormous. Yeah, it was a big. And ass you had CD. to scan barcodes or something. What was the deal with that? Maybe that was. I don't know. I think you're thinking of Div QR X. codes. Div X. Remember that? Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Div X is a, like a, in a container now, but it used to be a subscription service. It was like mm-hmm. DVDs that were like five bucks. Oh yeah! But then the DVD player connected to a uh, like it had like a. An They'd use them dial-up. at school, right? Uh, my friend's dad had it. Yeah, and he—I I remember him like, sp- like specifically. He bought all of those, I think, because he knew it would go out of business. Mm-hmm. Right. Because once it goes out of business, it's like you just keep them, you know, because I can't ah, tell. Ah, smart. Yeah. So like, uh, yeah, it connects to like a, a dial-up modem, and then really? you pay you pay a subscription to watch oh, the movie again. Oh shit! That's that like proto Netflix shit. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, but did you know there's like a Trump uh uh like subscription box service now like the safety pin box what yeah what do you get I don't know I got to look into it wait really or are you yeah. just fucking around you get no, the hat and shot. you get like the yeah but they send you merchandise you subscribe to it and you get Trump oh, yes. Trump presidency merchandise oh he's and so he's funny. selling it yeah I think so from the White House that <laughs> that just cannot be uh legal I'm sure it's illegal but yeah. Who cares? You can't stop him. It's so funny. Is that in like, fact? I kind of want a president that does illegal stuff. You know what I mean? Well, I think we. That's what I really have for. one. You, yeah. <laughs> I get it. I get it. You went to history class. <laughs> yeah, I did, dude. AP U.S. History. Oh, I took AP U.S. History dude, too. What did you get? Five, five, baby. Yeah. Hell yeah, five boys on our AP class. Yeah, yeah. I remember I got a the four on AP Lit though. AP, yeah, I did well in all the social science, AP, APs. or as I like to call it, AP clit. Oh, hell yeah. Ass pussy clit. <laughs> nice. I would have let you into my college. <laughs> uh, but I could not do math. I'm dumb as hell. When yeah, I to took math. calc and I got a three. Fuck no, dude. Yeah. Fuck calc. I had my calc teacher was this awesome lesbian, uh, Miss Richardson, and she fucking just liked me. And uh, she called me Fat Daddy, and I never had to do any work, and she just let me pass for no reason. She came to our Bahamas trip and just got stoned. She was our, so we went to like a fucking senior trip to the Bahamas, which uh, sucked dick. I thought it was going to be awesome, and I saved all this money working at a machine shop. And I, I went on this trip, and I got sun poisoning. Wow, one so it's night, like that movie The Machinist, except instead of getting really thin. <laughs> yeah, you got really I fat. got fat for the role, and I've never been able to... Re- I used to be fucking Remember that story jacked. Thomas told us about that girl that said she gained 200 pounds for a role? No. He said he went down, like, he met some girl from Tinder who was like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> she was like much thinner in her pictures. And he met up with her, and she was like, yeah, well, I'm an actress, and they, I had to gain 200 pounds for a role. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that's untrue. Yeah, yeah, right. Are they rebooting right. Precious? <laughs> <laughs> Some Craigslist movie? Yeah. <laughs> like yeah, well, fat people don't exist, so we need you specifically. <laughs> What's that kind of porn where you have to force feed people, or it's like a fetish thing where you feeder feeders? feeders? Yeah, yeah. Uh, where you like feed people into becoming way, like nine hundred hey, pounds. If there's any, uh, if there's any Stop. ladies who don't. are feeders. <laughs> Don't die. <laughs> Motherfucker, so I just brought you animal crackers, the, oh, the you EL fudge We're cookies. Your well, listen, you can be a, a feeder. pecan pie. You can be a feeder, but it's got to be paleo. Your boy's a paleo warrior right now. You know, it's all car. It's no carbs. Fucking meat. I've been is that like a... Is, Ser- is Serenovich mm-hmm. like a paleo guy? I don't know. I don't know. If- I also don't believe that there weren't fat cavemen. True. Oh, damn true. I don't know. They had to walk a lot more. Yeah, yeah, but there's I mean, probably horse. one fat cake, man. <laughs> like, I don't think that we invented like being lazy as shit. There had to have been yeah. one piece of shit caveman yeah. that was like, "No, you guys just do it." Yeah, but he probably got got by like saber tooth tigers, <laughs> yeah. T Rexes, and pterodactyls. He stayed in the cave. <laughs> yeah, pterodactyls. <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> yeah, chief is a lazy guy for sure. But he got to be lazy by murking out all you know Absolutely. people, and so like you know. 
He got to the he- top of the What do you think like politics order? came into play where you could you weren't just the ruler because you could fuck everyone up? How early in that in oh, cavemen like days? Oh, like 10,000 years after cavemen. Yeah, so all cavemen had to be strong. Yeah, cavemen were just like apes. Yeah. But there could have been a fat... You've never seen a fat squirrel? And I understand people feed them. Yeah, because it's But there could have been a, a magnanimous shit, woolly mammoth that was feeding... Yeah. <laughs> I, <laughs> what? Oh, oh, really? Amber off mic is saying that Australo sucked dick a kiss. Took, what's that one? The one right before Homo erectus? Yeah. Oh, they took took care of disabled people. Interesting. Maybe they used... Maybe they served their purpose in the tribe, you know? Yeah. Maybe they fucked the disabled ones. You know they were yeah, Jewish probably. shit, cavemen. Were there? Yeah. Are you talking about Nick Kroll and the Geico cavemen yeah, sitcom? Yeah, exactly. On ABC. That's crazy that they tried to make a sitcom out of that. They this tried to sucks. make a Geico commercial They made a TV a- show out of Crash Test Dummies. Remember that? There no. was like a whole, the whole yeah. like thing. They turned crash test dummies into Just this like concept. forced, yeah, this like it's wild. forced children's entertainment. I do remember shows that. Oh, children's entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. Oh word. Yeah. They're just a screaming loud as shit when they crash. <laughs> they just, ah! <laughs> fuck! I'm gonna fucking die. I fucking hate this shit. <laughs> Man, fuck! Now I just had I I had a, a, a an early '90s television flashback, and I suddenly had a hankering for Pizza Hut. Oh hell yeah! Stop! Been, you want to get some? I've been talking pizza about Hut? Wants so I've been talking about Pizza not, Hut a dude. lot recently. Stuffed crust pizza. Have you what ever you been to a Pizza Hut restaurant? Of course. Yeah, of because course. like yeah. an actual hut, you know, yes, not dude. delivery. I've never I've only done it I'll, once. I'll go this far. I never got Pizza Hut delivered. Because the deliver the one that was in Dundalk, there was no one in in Baltimore City proper. So we only went to Pizza Hut when we wanted to treat ourselves to a sit down mm-hmm. pizza dinner. Yeah, I remember. Uh, but every other time it was Papa John. I remember there was this weird Italian family that used to like dress up to go out to dinner, at, like Burger <laughs> oh, yeah, King and Pizza. Hut. <laughs> 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 That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. That's a fucking poor bastard. Yeah, they did. Have yeah, a Pizza Hut had a salad bar, and they had a lunch buffet. But I never, they never had that. In, yeah, I would in, only go to Pizza Hut like uh, Baltimore. I don't think uh, uh, when I went bowling with my grandmother and my cousin, mm. and there was a Pizza Hut near the bowling alley. And you guys all would have sex in the Pizza Hut, and we would all have no. <laughs> <laughs> did you fuck your grandma I, while your up, cousin dude. pegged you? Shut up! People are gonna the DM <laughs> me and say that I, my grandma and I had sex. <laughs> They're going to say mean things to me. <laughs> no, but Nick's grandma did rape people in the apartheid. Yeah. That is true. It is true. She did. DM me about it. DM him. See if I have a temper tantrum. <laughs> I didn't. I never had a temper tantrum. <laughs> I dealt with it with grace. With grace. Dude. Very and present. style. Love That's you. true. You are a very graceful individual. Yeah. I am. I, I understand that. I got to like new... that play, black, uh, that movie Black Swan. Yeah. <laughs> That's you. I'm that black or white. I don't know. I didn't see it. The black one's like the bad one. I know maybe. it's about ballet. You're yeah, pink I know. swan. I know it's about ballet, and I know there's rape involved. Nice. Um, no, there's like an unhealthy mother daughter thing. Yeah, all right, I don't know if there's rape. That's, yeah, yeah, father son. Damn. I was hoping fucked. I would I would nail it with the rape thing because that would have been a good analogy for you. Nah, dude. But if something with ballet is right on because he's got like gay ballet body. I got a question. <laughs> I got a question for, for you guys. Yeah. Gay ballet body. <laughs> I got I got a question for Look you. Look at guys. this boy with his gay ballet body. <laughs> how you go? How my you gonna have my man doing plies? How you go? How you go? How you gonna have a black swan? Uh oh. <laughs> played by Natalie Portman. <laughs> oh wow! Now he's racist too. Wow, well, do you do that, that was voice? Blackface how right? you go? How you gonna have a black swan? <laughs> How you, you gonna wear sandals? <laughs> How you gonna go go to bed? I'm, I, my man coming here wearing sandals. <laughs> my man go to bed. Look, and he, look he got sandals on. <laughs> the guy doesn't even have legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh it's God, it's a, no. it's a woman with no legs. <laughs> this man got sandals on right here. Look at he laughing. I got a terrible text. What guys. did it say? It's really bad news. Tell us. My new girlfriend. Is doing a mic right now. Oh, an open mic? I got to break up with her. That was you two comedy? years ago, dude. That was me, uh, yeah, six until, months ago. Until me and Stavros graciously elevated you yeah. to the world of podcasting. 
I appreciate it. A couple it. of Kumia alums. <laughs> yeah, dude. I've been in the YKWB you know, Check out the lineage, dude. FDR. Uh-huh. Uh, fucking Howard Stern, Anthony Kumia. Actually, stop. I was I was in podcasting. In That's the history of American radio. I was in pod- <laughs> right there. I was in podcasting in DC, dude. I did podcasting. What did you uh-huh. podcast? Dad Wonderland on Fridays. Oh my god, that horrific show! <laughs> don't. What was that yeah. shit called? Don't. don't. You meet them, so everybody. Dick, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I thought it was a good show. If you guys want to talk shit about it, I'm not talking shit. You are. I just stated a fact that I used to do podcasts. You used to do it? Yeah, every yeah. week. It was a fun show. It was fun. He's like, you could do whatever you want. Yeah. And so I just do characters. That bit you did where you were a Bert? Yeah, that was the that best was, one. That was so funny. Yeah, yeah. Bert? He did like Bert from Bert and Ernie, but he like didn't do the character at all. <laughs> Brandon just like interviewed him and he's like, so tell me about yourself. He's like, oh, I'm Bert. I'm like, I'm yellow. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a good bit. Yeah. <laughs> he just described Bert. <laughs> that was yeah. it. <laughs> I'm like yellow. I have a friend weird. Ernie that I live with. He's orange. And yeah, people think we're gay. We're not gay though. We're just yeah. homies. We that was the old same bed. Bed. He's got another yeah. friend named Rubber Ducky. I'm not friends with him. Though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dana did it one time, and she was like French, and she was like spilling food all over herself. I didn't know that character. you could do bits. I just did, and I did oh, stand dude, yeah. up, and it was a bad show. Yeah, no, I would no, do stand no, no. up too because I'm a purist. A, yeah, no, I used to be a purist. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's why, how we got on Kumia. On Kumia, yeah. They respect us. Yeah. They respect our love of the game. Right. We're yeah. we're like we're like tough crowd guys, dude. You know? That's us. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. getting a leather jacket. Even though most of those guys are still alive, yeah, we're still yeah, doing yeah. comedy. Yeah, we see. We're the, that was we're the, the original dude. concept. <laughs> <laughs> that was the original concept for the Cum Boys was that there would be like yeah. a leather jacket aspect to this it. This is basically tough right. crowd for you. Well, basically, I, I want to do a show like Tough Crowd, except it's called Rough Trade, and we're all in leather, and we have gay sex <laughs> at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> we Shouts argue. Out. We Shouts. argue with northeastern regional accents <laughs> about things we don't know about. <laughs> what are you talking about? North Korea. <laughs> Why does two Koreas? <laughs> Anyways, come here. Let me give you a smooch. <laughs> <laughs> bunch of mm. bunch of tough Boston. Did I daddies. say on the podcast that Boston piece of shit guy that I overheard? Overheard I in Boston, so. that guy that was like, uh, he was like, yeah, so. Uh, so anyway, he's like, yeah, we're going to have to do a fucking field sobriety. So I'm like, fuck it. I had two beers. Whatever. Anyway, I failed this field sobriety. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best. I don't think I could pass a field sobriety test. Sober. Sober? <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah, you have you... to have good balance. Yeah, right. I have horrible balance. <laughs> it's like, all right, now stand on one leg, and then it just immediately you. sinks into the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a sinkhole. <laughs> I'm sorry. Is that me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have you guys ever? Oh, don't sink into the street again. No. Have you guys ever done field sobriety? Was that? No. I did it once. Did you really? fail? You always no, fail. I was stoned, so I like passed the field you sobriety. You should always demand. First of all, as soon as a cop pulls you over, demand to see their supervisor. <laughs> <laughs> you say, "Oh hell no, I am putting up with this." <laughs> You, you threaten them with I mace. I know I got right. <laughs> you threaten them with mace. You say, this is racist. Uh-huh. This is the way you get away with uh-huh. the DUI. Uh-huh. Mm, yeah, I love those videos, like, what That's to smart, do. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, those ACLU-style like videos. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, even those... No, but for real, though, those... They ACLU, don't get those, They're, like, oh, terrible videos advice. Are, what, yeah, where it's, like, ignore... Uh, don't say you don't have to submit to anything, and it's, like... Cops are still people, and yeah, you can yeah. fucking manipulate them like anybody else. Oh, 100%. And just be nice, and you can get away with shit. Well, Sometimes. I think we've got an advantage. Yeah, of course. I that understand that for sure. Charming. But, I mean, if you're like a white dude, and you say, like, I don't submit to anything, I don't consent, this is my right, you're going to jail if you drink that's, anything. Yeah, that's like, yeah, that's how like to waving your guilty. white privilege. Yeah. Just doing that shit. Although there is an ACLU, like, app you can use if you see, like, cops beating people or whatever, and they'll, like, send it. To mm-hmm. them. I meet girls on there on the ACLU app. Really? Yeah, me too, dude. Yeah. I mean, I, I, well, my profile picture is me wearing a kufi. Yeah, <laughs> 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 trying to meet some woke girls. <laughs> Mine is me from. Uh, I still use my senior portrait from high school. Yeah, that's my. Yeah, we were seeing uh, when he was on Tinder. Had just the picture of him. Uh, 
Like talking to Conan. Yeah, the- oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <shit. laughs> you yeah, got yeah. to, baby. Yeah. Well, that's literally the only good thing about a TV. Just the NBC, yeah. is the like NBC logo and a microphone it. in your hand. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, like a poster from an open mic from 2007. Just put an <laughs> NBC logo right. on there. <laughs> at Del Rey. <laughs> that, that place, that was like the big venue. Where? The Del tenure, Rey? Yeah, Del Rey. It was I some like, it's some, it, it, it was like a restaurant in Woodbridge. Really? I, remember, I think I yeah. missed it. There's, uh, Not uh, Britney's? No, there's Britney's, but then there was, yeah, Del Rey was like another, it was like a Mexican restaurant that I remember uh, somebody bragging to me. They're like, yeah, I'm actually featuring a Del Rey. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty open mic. <laughs> I don't want to say her name because I'm assuming she's like, has a terrible life now. <laughs> Man, was she a piece of shit? <laughs> Where's the first place you guys went up? Uh, motherfucking EJ's Landing in College Park, Maryland, dude. All right. the seafood restaurant. All right, Irwin Loring. <laughs> dude, we've already. Yeah. I mean, I went up at um a different Irwin. <laughs> I went up at uh, uh RFD Thursday. Shut oh. the shut the fuck shut up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut Mike. the fuck up. <laughs> Who runs that? Yo, we got one rule. Oh, yeah. Shut the dude, fuck up. I was like, I I when I was when I was back, uh, I never did the like. You know, hey, can I go up early, sort of thing. Yeah. But like people, you would usually just let me go up early. Yeah, yeah. And Ralph would like was like, yeah, we'll see if there's time. We'll see if there's time. I went there, and he's like, yep, no. He made me wait there the entire night. He's like, no spots this week or whatever. Yeah, and he pulled that on they me. They love that. Shit, I too. almost like I was almost like, I'm a real comic. Yeah, I don't yeah, know who the yeah. fuck you think you are. Yeah. You're some shithead open mic. I mean, that's literally like their domain. That's all that they week, have. That week dude. I had Benson Ball at that big show. I was just trying to do as many spots as possible. So I was like, yo, can I like please go up uh, early at your thing? Because I'm trying to hit another mic. I got a big show. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. No problem. And so like I waited for like two hours. Jesus and then I left. Christ. And he's like, where are you going? Where are you going? And I was like, I, I can't. I can't stay here. I got to go. Yeah. And I got it's in my it's in my Facebook messages, but you have it still. He sent me a psychotic, hilarious. Email. He's like, "Listen, you might be going places in this world, maybe MTV, maybe Comedy <laughs> Central, <laughs> but professionalism, incredible professionalism matters in this incredible. industry. Incredible. And let me tell you something: you got no professionalism. He put on, he put on a suit and tie at two o'clock in the morning to write this email. <laughs> You got a fucking a pinstripe suit on <laughs> the president of the emails. God, that show. Man. Remember, we used to think it was the best show of all time. The Thursdays for it, like it for a couple months, it was popping, but it was just like it so poorly run. Yeah, yeah they oh. would just oh start every show. For those unfamiliar, they had a great show packed all the time, and they would just. Ramble first of all, just do too much time. But the most important thing was they would just yell, "We have one rule: shut the fuck up!" Yeah. And they would just like <laughs> yell that at an audience that just wants to see. Comedy. So Michael, Michael Foodie, and I um, made a fake uh, email address one night on a Saturday night when we weren't going out and having fun with the young people. <laughs> we we <laughs> made a, Foodie were trolling. We made a fake email <laughs> called Josh Wanda, right? And we sent a bunch of troll emails, and we said <laughs> we sent them a, a troll email that we run. We own the rights to the Shut the Fuck Up Comedy Showcase. <laughs> like, <laughs> Josh Wanda here. But the best one was, um, what the best one was respond? we emailed, we emailed Wardell and oh, he was at the, dra- awesome. he was at the draft house mic at the time. Awesome. It was on a Saturday night. We're like, hey, Brandon, uh, Josh Wanda here. I just want to let you know that I've told everyone in the industry that you are not to be trusted. <laughs> and it's like, you, I asked you for directions at South by Southwest. And you caused me to miss a showcase with industry representatives. I've told Chelsea Peretti, Gerard Carmichael. I was just like naming all these people not to ever trust with you again, trust you again. Incredible. And apparently Brandon was at uh, at the draft house, and he's like freaking out. He's like running oh, around. That's incredible. And he's like, "Who the fuck is Josh Wanda?" <laughs> <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, if you guys want to harass Brandon. You know, in a fun way. You know, no. no. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's no. A, it's just for past Adam and and Foodie, yeah. only guests of the show. If you're a guest <laughs> of the show, you can uh, literally murder Brandon. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. The best one was our friend. I, I won't say his name, but we he was a vest wearing <laughs> comedian in uh, in Washington D.C. Uh, yes, he wore a yes. bunch of vests, and who so who wore a bunch of vests? 
You know who. You know who wore a vest. No, I don't, actually. You know, there's a famous picture of him wearing a vest in front of a velvet curtain. Um, anyway. We, Does he wear vests? Yeah, I think, like, in headshots, he wore vests a lot. I, yeah. I anyway, mean, so I said him. Velvet we, we said him a Josh. Yeah, see, you don't. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah, yeah. So we said. Oh, I just think someone else. We said. Who's we, a friend of mine, by the way. Yeah. Well, a dear we, friend of mine. We sent him an email. <laughs> One of my closest friends. <laughs> we sent him a Josh Wanda email. And we were like, uh, Josh Wanda here, and we think you're one of the best dressed comedians in America, and we'd like to invite you to the <laughs> Detroit Comedy Festival, <laughs> featuring the comedic stylings of the best dressed comedians in the industry, Paula Poundstone, <laughs> which is like, and Mr. Steve, tell it like it is, Harvey. <laughs> and then he just wrote one a one line reply that was just. Just like, all right, yeah, give me give me the info. Incredible. Yeah, we never emailed him back. That was a fun night. Yeah, shout out to Michael Foodie. Fun. Steve Harvey's been having a lot of controversies lately. Uh, his wife said she living. She stole his soul. He stole her soul. Yeah, or yeah. He's the killed her years, soul. Ten years with him destroyed her soul. <laughs> <laughs> now, how do you get that back? I don't know. You like Kegels? Yeah, I guess Kegels. It. Kegels in the Caribbean. Yeah, yeah, that's a cruise yeah, that I run. Ty Diggs. Yeah, Kegels in was the he, Was he in Stella got her, how Stella got a groove back? Was that Ty Diggs? Did, um, yeah. You know what? Did they ever even tell you how she gets her groove back, <laughs> folks? You might be a redneck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That makes no fucking sense. <laughs> <laughs> She's got just Jeff Foxworthy with a brain parasite. <laughs> Folks, let me ask you here. What? Did they even tell you the toy story anyway? <laughs> you might be a redneck. Here's your sign. Schindler's List. <laughs> what was he making a list of? You might be a yeah, redneck. It was the Jews. <laughs> Oh, right. Oh, oh, actually, yeah. Hey, that guy might be a redneck. <laughs> or maybe not. I don't know. We're kind of ambivalent towards Jews. I think, mostly. Remember when, when he had a bunch... We, hey, what's up with all the all the F names on the Ford trucks? You notice that? It's F-150, 250. It's like, what's next? F-350? I they am. have those. <laughs> all right, well, then F-450, then. <laughs> Yeah, they make those too. All right, well, why don't you tell me where the fucking number stops then, smart guy, and then I'll add a fucking number to it. That piece of shit. You fucking asshole. <laughs> he just starts having a seizure on stage. Uh, brain parasite Jeff Oxworthy. <laughs> that might be the best character we've, we've had. <laughs> Def, Def Jam Picard and that guy. Uh, F. <laughs> Tell me where the number stops. No, Inspector Faggot's the best character. Inspector Faggot, that's true. <laughs> ba -ba -da -ba -da. Inspector <laughs> Faggot. He's just got a bunch of dicks. Dildo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's all, all dildo. <laughs> 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 dick, dick coming out of his hat. It's a dick pops. <laughs> 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 no, no. Dick pops out of his hat. Head, and then the tip pops open, and then four more dicks come out. <laughs> that makes a dick help. Oh, yeah, baby. All right. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, baby. <laughs> All right.